Welcome to another video from explainingthefuture.com. This time I'm going to discuss the great debate at the heart of future studies. On the one hand, some futurists proclaim that we are fast approaching a point of technological singularity that will deliver new levels of prosperity. And yet, just as plausibly, others argue that industrial civilization faces an inevitable decline. So is utopia on the future horizon, or should we be planning for increasingly difficult times ahead? The singularity is a future event horizon that we may be approaching due to exponential technological progress. What this means is that developments in many cutting-edge sciences are now driving each other forward. This is also hardly surprising given that so many disciplines now involve the programming of information and the manipulation of matter on a near-atomic scale. The singularity will be reached if and when we achieve beyond human intelligence. Such intelligence may be created artificially in a computer. Alternatively, it may result from an augmentation of the human brain or the internetworking of many humans and machines to forge a collective intelligent entity. However it may be created, the application of smarter-than-human intelligence will spiral us around a positive feedback loop. Here, increased intelligence will create even more powerful technology. This will then create further heightened intelligence, and so on. In practical terms, when the singularity is reached, we will start to master many emerging and converging sciences including artificial intelligence, nanotechnology, genetic engineering, robotics, cybernetics and synthetic biology. So the argument goes, beyond the singularity we will be able to reprogram and control all forms of life and all modes of inorganic matter. It will therefore be possible to convert any kind of waste into food or other useful products to directly power our civilization from the sun and other alternative energy sources, and for 10 billion or more human beings to enjoy a high standard of living. The dawn of a singularity holds the potential to lift human civilization out of its current financial woes. Many times across history, a new technological age has given rise to significant economic growth, and this could now happen again. This said, there is no guarantee that another techno-economic boom has to be waiting in the wings. Only a fool would deny that natural resources are currently being consumed at an increasing and totally unsustainable level. As a result, within a generation, oil and many precious metals are likely to be scarce and far more expensive. In 1972, an influential study called The Limits to Growth warned that humanity would start to exceed the carrying capacity of the Earth if we did not change our ways. Unfortunately, capitalism continued unabated, and 40 years later, humanity's ecological footprint is at least 20% beyond what the Earth can sustain. In 2011, the United Nations Environment Programme reported that, if nothing changes, humanity will demand 140 billion tonnes of minerals, ores, fossil fuels and biomass every year by 2050. This is three times our current rate of resource consumption, and far beyond what the Earth can supply. Unless our collective demand for resources falls dramatically, the decline of industrial civilization may therefore be on the horizon. Some make the point even more starkly. For example, in his book The Lung Descent, John Michael Greer explains how industrial civilization has been built on the foundation of an abundant fossil fuel supply that took millions of years to create, but which we are burning away in a scant few centuries. 
In his view, our future decline is therefore inevitable. Whether we are headed towards singularity or decline is likely to depend on actions taken by us all over the next 20 years. This is also the case for three reasons. Firstly, widespread resource depletion has yet to kick in, which leaves us with a last little bit of breathing space in which to collectively act. Secondly, many post-singularity technologies have already been identified, with a large number just waiting for investments that could deliver astonishing scientific breakthroughs. And finally, despite the ongoing financial crisis, most economies are still functioning effectively, with many governments and companies still able to engage in long-term strategic action. What all of these points mean in aggregate is that a conscious choice between singularity or decline can still be made. Our biggest global challenge is therefore persuading enough people to work together toward a lean green age in which we will all rely on technologies that are currently almost unimaginable. Not least due to diminishing natural resources, the future cannot be a clone of today. We therefore have to be approaching a fork in the road. Potentially, post-singularity technologies could allow us to live in new ways. But such progress may also arrive too late, could be rejected by the majority, or may otherwise be unable to prevent our decline. More information can be found in my book, 25 Things You Need to Know About the Future, or on explainingthefuture.com. But now that's it for another video, and as I've hopefully convinced you, the future rests in all of our hands.